Hello, you're listening to a slightly weird Skit Twins podcast and you've got your cold hand on my leg and it's cold. That sounds weird. It does. We're high on a mixture of lack of sleep, boredom and a cocktail of sugar, no, like, yeah, diet, sugar. Diet ginger ale and some diet, diet raspberry. raspberry drink from Marks and Spencers. Which mother bought? Go Chloe for your cocktail making skills. <laughs> I don't even know what to think of it. Was it good or was it bad? I don't know. It didn't taste like anything. It was weird. It was just. It just tasted fizzy. I just. I don't know. Well, what did you say to me whenever I looked at you and went, I don't. I don't know. I just pretend it's alcohol and just down it. Yeah. We don't drink alcohol, so it didn't really make much sense. Yeah. Well, generally, if we're handed an alcoholic beverage and we feel that we have to drink it, we just sort of. Down it. Neck it. Yeah. So there you go. I've never been drunk, but I feel like tired me is pretty much what I would be like. I get I get the feeling of being drunk around drunk people. Like if other people are drunk around me, I'll just be like overly, I don't know, happy, I suppose, confident, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, come on guys, let's go party. You're a happy drunk. Yeah, I'm a happy non-drunk. A happy non-drunk. Happy pretend. But do you think that if you were drunk you would be happy? I don't know. And confident and stuff. I think if it's anything to go by me being sleep deprived, I would I would be a mess. <laughs> You'd be sitting on the corner crying, going, Why can't turtles enjoy food like us? <laughs> no, I don't even think that. I think I would be bouncing all over the place. Like I'd be like happy one minute and then something would happen. And I'd be like, That is the saddest thing ever. That girl lost her hat! And then I would get really cross because someone looked at me funny and then I'd be happy again because my favourite song comes on and then I'd be crying in the corner again. Because it ended. And then, <laughs> and then I'd be Why right. didn't the song go on forever? And then I'd be starting to fight again. I think I'd just be all over the place. I nearly cried at War Horse one time because I got like two hours of sleep. I don't cry at movies. And it wasn't even a sad bit, it was whenever the horse was ploughing the field. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was the same because I was sleep deprived too. I was like, you go, Joey. That horse, you ploy that field. <laughs> but it was whenever we were watching it with the kid too. Um, our mum used to look after a kid, um, but now she's going to big school, so she won't look after her anymore. But we were watching it with her and she was just kind of sitting, watching it, stuffing her face with sweets. And I was like, trying not to cry. <laughs> I do that a lot though if I'm sleep deprived. I and then at baby sitting baby sitting our four favourite girls. We were watching I think it was Toy Story Three and I had to leave the room because it was the bit <laughs> and they were in the furnace. And I was like, they can't see me. <gasps> they all hold hands. And they're like, let's do this together. And it's just like, and they were oh, like guys, they were you're like, not gonna die. It's a Disney film. <laughs> but one of them was like, They're gonna die, aren't they? And I was like, Don't <laughs> Don't say that. And then at the very end, I was, they were like, oh, so was that the end now? And I was like, yeah, that's it. No, it was the parent trap that got me. It was like three days into babysitting from like eight till six. <laughs> and I don't go to bed until like 2am. But anyway, right. Um, I was really sleep deprived and it was the bit whenever it was like, that means you and I are like sisters. And it's like, Hallie, we're twins. And I was just like, guys, they're twins. <laughs> What were you they like? Were, twins, were you like guys. choked up at that point? It's like guys, they're twins. No, it was the bit. It was the bit. Um, whenever him and hers in the in the wine cellar, oh, and they're too, they're about to too. kiss. I was like, oh, Jesse, I was. Martin, why did you come home now? Yeah, they I, could have kissed. I got all choked up. They should have kissed. And then whenever they fly the plane over and they they see them at the very end, and then. That bit too. I just, I was, I was a mess that day. I just, I can't. You don't realise how emotional some kids' films are, and you're sort of like, how did I not get this whenever I was a child? That like, I just feel I these feel, toys could have died. I feel weird that I nearly cry at films. <laughs> it's just like this isn't me. <laughs> this is acting. I want to do this as a job, and yet I watch other actors act, and I'm like. I want to cry. <laughs> yeah. I guess that, that means but, like, you know, solid acting guys. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to make people cry. I want to make people feel things. Yeah. <laughs> Same though. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily have to be tears. Like anger and sad. You know who's a great actor? Hugh Laurie. 
David Tennant, I was going to say. I think Indeed. he has made me cry more times than any other actor. No, Eddie Redmayne's class too. Eddie so Re- is Hugh Laurie. But Eddie Redmayne is one of those actors that he's not a character. He's Eddie Redmayne. He's he's played lots of characters. Like, you know the way you look at Daniel Radcliffe and he's Harry Potter? Yeah. Eddie Redmayne is just Eddie Redmayne. But David Tennant is the doctor to me. He is, but he isn't. I think he's he's just David Tennant to me because yeah. I really like David Tennant. Yeah. Although Matt Smith, I don't consider Matt Smith to be the Doctor. Yeah. I don't know, I don't consider anybody to be the Doctor. I suppose that's just because I know that it's such a changeable character. What do you think of um, Judy? Judy? What her, what, what, whatever her name is. <laughs> I thought you were going to get it there, Judy Whit- Whitaker. Whitaker. I was going to say that and then I thought that was wrong, so I didn't want to say it. I don't know, I think she'll be good. I mean, I'm going to sound really like olden days and not want to change. Like, Anti-feminist. I'm, yeah, but like I'm welcome to change, like I'm willing to try it, but I don't know, I think the Doctor has been a man the whole time and I think as a woman it just kind of, especially if they go into like the Doctor's past and into his family and stuff, like that's going to get complicated. Yeah, I think it's going to get confusing, I don't know how they're going to deal with it, but I understand why they did it. Yeah. I feel like that's the way it was going to go. Yeah, it was going to do that eventually, but just whether or not it's going to work with the whole storyline of the Doctor. Yeah. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to watch it and... No, I'll... yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch it. Cause I'm, I... like, I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm not going to sort of go in and sort of be like, oh, this is going to be rubbish. Yeah. Because we stopped watching Doctor Who for a few years there with Capaldi. Yeah, because we were just busy with uni work. Yeah. And then just, we had like, we missed like once, like a couple of series of Capaldi. Or like the end of Matt Smith into Capaldi. Yeah. We were kind of like, none of this makes sense right now. Yeah, but then we watched the Capaldi's last series with Bill and it was absolutely brilliant yeah. and then I went back and rewatched everything from the start of Matt Smith because I've watched David Tennant countless times and I never like I'm not going to say I never really liked Pat Smith and Capaldi but I didn't like them as much as yeah. I liked David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston I think but now just... I like them all I like th- I think they're all really really good I think it was just the age we were whenever we went through the transition of David Tennant into Matt Smith. Like we were what? Eleven? No. We no, we would have been about fifth year, I'd fifth, say. Yeah, fourth or fifth 14, year. fifteen. So like we were properly like fan grown over David Tennant and then it changed and it's just like no it's like it was just typical teenage acts. I was <laughs> really I, I really didn't like David Tennant at the start. Yeah. Because I like you're just used to like your doctor. It's like everybody has their doctor. And like nobody compares to them. But I don't know which one's mine then because I like Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant for different reasons. Yeah. Christopher I like Eccleston Tom Maker was... too. Like I've watched some <gasps> old so I love Tom Maker. I love him. I think he's he's not my doctor, but like because it's like it's kind of the doctor that you grew up with. Yeah. But like Tom Baker is incredible. He's so good. <laughs> and so is John Pertweed. They're all good. They're all good. Anyway, we should... But I think it also goes with the writers too. Yeah. Like, I think Stephen Moffat is a class writer. I love him writing Doctor Who because it's, like, scary and then funny and then, like, yeah, just switching back and forth. That's, yeah. That will be my style of writing slash yeah. acting. Like, one minute you're making people cry and then the next minute you're just like, ba dum Yeah, like, Stephen Moffat, like, it's, like, totally scary and then, like, the next minute it's like, oh! It was just a bouncy ball, <laughs> or like some stupid <laughs> like that. Anyway, sorry non-Doctor Who fans, we will stop now. You know what I want to see? What? A desertle. A desertle? Yeah, it's like a dessert turtle. Like, like a turtle you can eat for dessert? No, like a turtle that brings you dessert. Oh, okay, so like a waiter kind of turtle. Yeah, but also like that should be sold by restaurants and stuff. Like actually no, I I patent it. That's my idea. Is it patent or patent? Pa- I don't know, I think it depends. Is patent from. American? I think so. I want to patent it's mine. this idea. I'm copywriting it. Um the deserto and it's gonna be like a wafer bowl. A wafer bowl, right, okay. A wafer bowl. Uh huh. That's the turtle shell. Oh right, so it's gonna be an upside it's down bowl. It's like upside okay. down, yeah. And like inside, there's like you you get to choose your ice cream, or it could be a cake actually. Oh, 
But why would you have if you had wafers with a cake? It would be very dry. Ice cream cake. Okay. Okay. Like baked Alaska. I suppose well, baked Alaska is kind of like a. Yeah, they just have to make a make, make feet and a head. Do that with ice cream. But then would that be too ice creamy? They could do mm. it with um. Chocolate. Yeah, or bananas. Boke. I, would, Boke. I wouldn't eat the bananas. Boke. No. Yeah. That would destroy the dessert. If there's bananas anywhere near a dessert, it is ruined. It's not edible because <laughs> the smell of the bananas. Not like even if they're not touching it, the smell has contaminated the dessert. It is not it can't be eaten. I just can't. What's your favourite flavour of ice cream? I know it's vanilla. No, is it vanilla? <gasps> is it vanilla? It's not vanilla. Oh, I don't know. Vanilla or honeycomb, I think. Okay. No vanilla. I don't I think you just you just can't go wrong with vanilla no, you can go wrong with vanilla. If you get like vanilla bean with like with the, the bits, bits, it's all greeny. Yeah, that's okay. Cause I kind of I also don't like custardy ice cream vanilla. The yellow one. Yeah, it's not. It's not nice. Like it just tastes like custard. Like, too, I, don't, I think I it's don't too mind, sweet. I don't mind custard. Cuts custard's all right. But just, I don't like custard. I pre- I would prefer custardy ice cream to custard. Like yellow ice cream is what we're talking about it here, has guys. To be warm ice cream or like <laughs> warm ice cream, warm <laughs> custard. No, warm ice cream. Warm custard is worse than cold custard. Cold custard is nicer than warm custard, and then yellow custardy ice cream is better. Is, again. is better again, but like white vanilla ice cream, proper vanilla ice cream, mm-hmm. is, is top notch. Yeah, Dale Farm, Dale Farm vanilla Dale ice Farm cream. Dale Farm or Brayers? is so good, and you can eat a whole tub, and it's only like two hundred ninety calories. And do you think Brayers like, no would guilt. sponsor us for doing triathlons? I'd love that. Like, you Brayers, you listening? Hit me just, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want after I do the triathlon on Sunday. I'm just going to be like, yeah. I'm going to have to be like, do you want to go out to Dando's or Pizza Express or something? Nah, mate, just take me to Tesco. I'll buy myself some Breyers ice cream. <laughs> Only if it's on offer, though. If it's a fiver, then no. Nah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, like, if it was a choice between going to Nando's or getting a Breyers, I you'd be you could spend a fiver. <laughs> yeah, you could do it. Mind you, Nando's is good, like. Yeah. Maybe Nando's could Nando's and Brayer because then you can have ice cream afterwards to cool your mouth down. Nando's, I think, should have like a spicy eating contest because I always take the extra hot sauce and just like I burn my mouth, but it's so good. <gasps> Whenever we were at the airport and we were at Nando's and I was getting the sauce, you know the way it's like on a shelf. Mm-hmm. There was a guy over and he was picking up like mild. <laughs> And I walked over beside him and just stared him out as I lifted off the extra hot. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and he kind of watched me walk away and I was like, uh-huh. Did you sway your hips just like, yeah, boy? No. I flicked my ponytail at him though. Fair enough, that's okay. <laughs> Level of sass, ponytail flick. <laughs> so I can't do that. I, I just have to... You can like flick your head. That looks like a pure guy thing to do, though. Ah, uh, that's true. I don't know. No, you have short hair. You can pull it off. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. that's fair. Okay. I've been needing to burp the whole way through this so See, far. I've, I've managed to control it. I think I'm either going to burp or project I vomit. Do you ever get that feeling? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this could go badly wrong. And you don't want to, you want to force it, but you, don't, time you, want, you <laughs> don't want to. When did that happen? I was chatting to someone, it was important. It might have been a job interview or something, I was chatting away and I was like... You get a wee bit of book in your mouth and you're like, I have to swallow this. <laughs> no, it was just that feeling of, is it a burp? Or, like, boke? <laughs> I was like, I could just play a game, burp, burp or boke? Um, uh, no, that's going to be the title of this book. <laughs> Burp or Boke. <laughs> Boke is vomit, is that? Is Boke just book. a Northern Irish yeah, thing? Yeah, I was going to say, Boke can be your Northern Irish phrase of the week. It means puke. Vomit. Or vomit. Uh, yeah. I remember, who was it at school? It was a teacher and it was like, oh man, she's sick today. And it's like, is she sick or is she like sicky bokey sick? <laughs> and I was like, ah, I think she's sicky bokey sick. Oh, okay, good thing she's not here. <laughs> I know who it was, but I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> I think I know who it was. was it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, never mind. I'll just ask you afterwards. E1. E1? Yeah. 
Oh no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was um. Um, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Right, sign language. Um. A. <laughs> <laughs> L. <laughs> Alberta. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I don't know what we're moving on to, but we're moving on from yeah, that. This is just kind of spontaneous. We were just chatting to each other and we're like, you know what we should do? We should record this and turn it into a podcast. Because why not? It's like a bonus podcast unless we don't do one on Sunday. Yeah, that's, yeah. So it is currently Wednesday. Just in case you're wondering. We're in Donegal. And I wanted to come down, but now I'm here and I'm bored and I, I want to go home. But yeah. I think it's just we could have got to the gym today, but then we didn't get the opportunity. Like, we missed the bus because mum was like, we'll leave at half eleven. And then we didn't leave till like half two. Yeah. But if we had got the bus at half ten, then we could have been at the gym and mum could have got us and we could have gone on down. I think we're just junkies. It's like, we're like alcoholics, but with the gym. Yeah. We're gymaholics. Like, I think that's what an alcoholic would be like. They would be like, oh, I could have had a drink and then I didn't. And then it just ruins their entire week. And mm. we're just like, we didn't get to the gym today. This is the worst. Kind Which is... is. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> I guess it's a problem. <laughs> we, could, we could damage ourselves going to the gym all the time. Like, I, I have damaged myself. I've hurt my back. <laughs> oh, yeah, you shouldn't be at the gym this week. Yeah, but I have a thing on Sunday and I just don't want to have time to train my training diary didn't get anything done today apart from like a half hour walk I mean we could I well it's out there now <laughs> sorry human and Pete well, we didn't there was nothing we could do we were travelling like, waiting stuck in the house and watching then, four in a bed <laughs> I mean it's that's not bad <laughs> that we were travelling and yeah it's just <sighs> Help. <laughs> Plus side, we got a good luck message from Greg and Chris, and that was lovely. Yeah. I thought they hated me. I thought I was the biggest annoyance ever, and then they read that bit, and I was like, Guys, guys, you we care. Are adorable. But also that podcast is going on a break for summer. But we're not. Yeah, don't worry. We don't. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here for you. <laughs> I'll be there for you. I was thinking, I thought you were going to go, we were on a break. <laughs> but you didn't, so there we go. We were both along the same lines, though, with friends. Yeah. That's, yeah. Can you, can anyone listen to the Friends theme tune without clapping? Oh my gosh, I found a, bit, a YouTube video and it's like watching the Friends theme tune without clapping. It has like a million views. It's just this guy just staring straight at the camera as it plays and it's just like, no, but how? Like, it like, does take a lot of self control. I could be holding two glasses of like juice or whatever. Just drop them and, and clap. still drop them or else I would like try and cling clap them together. Clap them together, yeah. Or else, like, do it with my feet. I would try and do it somehow. Or else yeah. I would go, do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> you, you have to acknowledge it in some way. It's weird, though. Why are we conditioned to be like this? It's like hypnosis. Yeah. Is it hypnosis? I suppose it's just like like suggestion yeah. or something. Almost. Habit. Yeah, because like you habit. Hear it. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it sounds like clapping, so you just want to join in because it's it's a tune. Yeah. It's a banger. It is a good tune. What? It's... Yeah. It's book. What? <laughs> oh, did you burp? It was a burp. <laughs> it's a dirty burp. A dirty burp. <laughs> Bookie burp. Yeah. That's... Sorry, listeners. Sorry if you're eating food. Don't eat food while listening to our podcast. Yeah, we talk about should, bulk should, and farts. You should know that by now. It yeah. was like, you know, two podcasts ago, it's fart and run. Last week it was fart bubbles and something. Oh, we talked about jobs and stuff last week. But that's in the past, so we're moving on. This time it's burps and boke. Burp or boke. <laughs> oh, you know what else is pure disgusting that people do? People chew with their mouth open. Well, no, there's that, but also this. <laughs> no, we talked about that last week. And it just, oh, did we? Yes, and it makes me want to just... That nearly, that nearly made me boke and I did it. That's a horrible thing. Was, we were doing like a tour of um, a jail or something. Oh, Crumlin Road. Yeah. And there was a man on it and he kept doing that and I was like, 
I, I didn't, I just got so cross, but he was, he was a tourist, so his English wasn't that great, so I didn't want to go up to him and be like, all right, mate, do you mind not doing that? Because <laughs> that makes me want to puke. I didn't want to do that because he was a tourist. But would you have said that to someone anyway, if they I were from here? I mean, I would have done it sort of like not to their face, but I would have been like, I hate when people pure clear their throats. Makes me want to book. Like you know why you sort of do that. You sort of like passive aggressively. Yeah, you sort of do it and like so they're within earshot. But you're Whatever. talking about something else. Yeah, you could be like, oh, my friend Timmy always does that. He did it in the middle of an exam, and it honestly just made me want to puke. And then they'll like hopefully overhear it, or else <laughs> if anyone does that to me, I try and do it like unless it's properly annoying. Like if I'm sniffing or whatever, I'll try and blow my nose. But if it's something. Like, oh, I hate it when people appear, like, skip around the place, um, like, just acting like a child, and it's like, you're 20. I would be like, excuse me, I'm going to be a child if I want to, and I will, I will skip more if it was me that was skipping and they were whinging about. I would just skip. I always feel really embarrassed and hurt if I, feel, if I hear people this saying thing. stuff like that. Like, even if it's something silly, like... I hate when people sniff so much. I'm always like, oh, are they talking about me? Oh, I feel really bad now. Oh, I'm such a douche. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, they hate me now. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Yeah, Bye. well, to be fair, I overthink things. Yeah. Like, even if people aren't talking about me, they're just like, oh, I keep sniffing and it's so annoying. I'm like, oh, I'm being annoying too. I was sniffing. <laughs> I was sniffing two weeks ago. I was so annoying then. <laughs> That's how badly I overthink things. It's like, they're talking about me. I did that two weeks ago. They're talking about me. But I always think that whenever people are like talking and laughing, I'm like, they're they're laughing at me. I'm like, that's. They're laughing. Whenever you message a group chat and it just all of a sudden goes dead, it's just like, was it offensive? Read that, Judith. Was it was it offensive? (laughs) I hate that. Any could anyone have taken that the wrong way? I hate that so much. Whenever it goes quiet and then you're like, did I offend someone? Oh man, they hate me now. It wasn't funny. It wasn't as funny as I thought it was. And then I always convince myself that any group chat that I'm in, there's another there's group, a group chat, chat without, without you, me. Mm-hmm. And then they all go on that and they're like, Did you see what Judith posted? My word, what a weirdo. It's okay, I think that too. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. But I don't know if it counts whenever it's you. <laughs> No offence, but like, you know what I mean? Twins are really weird. Yeah, they're just, they're talking about both of us. That's what's happening. Every single group chat we have, it's just, there's one without us and they're going, Chloe and Judith are, your feet are really cold, why would you do that? You did it to me, like, at the start, I was just waiting for my moment. It's really cold. (laughs) I don't like cold feet. (laughs) (laughs) So... So, um, yeah, I was going to say something else there. What were we talking about? Backtrack, right? Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what um, we were talking about. Um, group chats and feeling like insecure. Before that, um, annoying noises. Being annoying, annoying noises. What was before that? Uh, uh that would be so handy if I could listen Burp or <laughs> oh, I don't remember now. Sore backs. No, I, I don't know. Are you talking about your hair? No. I might get my hair cut up though. Not as short as yours, but like maybe to my shoulders. We remembered to do a video today. Yeah. Because last, last week we forgot. Because we forgot what day it was. Yeah, like you know the way you go through summer, like especially at school, and you just like, you're so used to like a routine at school. Like Monday I have like double maths, then physics, then biology, then chemistry, then English, whatever. And then it gets to summer and you just don't have that and you're just like, is it Tuesday today? Your breath smells like cereal. Oh, thanks. It's nice. I like it. Too bad the listeners can't hear that. Yeah, smell hear it. Hear that, smell that. Yeah, but I, it's nice. I like cereal. I love cereal. <sighs> I would have cereal every day if I could. Really? Not every day, but like for every meal. But like not the same cereal, like different cereals. We did that at uni. We did. Just because we could. Not every day. We did have a balanced diet of like meat and some vegetables and beans and stuff. Vegetables? Yeah. 
which was great. Apologies for that brief interruption, but we're back, and I still can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Even after, like, two minutes of trying to think. Yeah. You thought really hard, though. I did. I did a lot of thinking, which was good. I did good thinking. People listen to our podcast, Chloe. I know, it's weird. Shout out to like, Lewis, who said that he listened. Hey. Yes. No, I don't, I don't know. I think it's weird that people, like listen to your voices because I always think my voice is pure cringy. I don't like my voice at all. I also don't like my face which is great because I want to be an actress. So <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah. some of those things that you don't necessarily have to like look or listen to yourself. Yeah. Like well we do at the minute because we have to sort of edit edit things and make sure uh, everything's okay which sucks. But I mean if, if we're proper fully fledged actors and stuff and we don't have to do that someone does it for us. Yeah. But then if you get really big and you have to go to like a film premiere, does that mean you actually have to sit through and watch the entire film that you're in? I think so, yeah. Oh, oh, I would just be like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'll stand sit up at the when, back. Just stand up whenever it's like, you're saying, guys, don't look at it. Don't look. Guys, I'm in this. Guys, look at me. I'm a distraction. <laughs> yeah. I still think it would be cool though. I mean, Oh, I sound like, really douchey. Like, really, you're going for other people. Like, I would go for other people, for, like, my co-stars. Stuff, yeah, I can't wait to see you in this film, Chloe. Can't wait to see you in this film, Jetta. Oh, buddy. We're so cute. Adorable. Who's your inspiration to be an actor or actress? Um, I think we kind of already talked about David it. Tennant. David Tennant, but also Chris Pratt. Quite like Chris Pratt now. He's he's really good in um in that, that thing film he's in. in. <laughs> um no, but I think it's really cool that he um like put the effort into it. like Hugh Jackman as well. Actors who put in the effort and they're like, Okay, I'm gonna gain like forty pounds and I'm gonna forty pounds and I'm gonna like um go into this and I'm gonna go and do this research, I'm gonna live in this place for two months to sort of get into the mindset of this. And yeah, like proper method acting. Yeah. I I think people like that, I think I like to think that's what I would do if I had the chance, money, resources, whatever. Like and and just go and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get into this role, I'm gonna do my research, I'm gonna find out about like I know, say being an orphan. I'm sorry. I just it's even worse because we're lying on a bed. Okay, so it's sorry. probably gonna be like, sorry for all the rustling sorry. sounds. I'm really sorry. Who is your inspiration, Chloe? A mixture of people. Did I ever tell the podcast that I had a job interview thing for like, um, um TV training? Can we skip? The, can we? Can you answer the question? You said a lot of people like who? Hugh Laurie. Why? Just he's really cool. He's really nice. I'm really annoyed that he can act and play the piano and make sing. saxophone phone noises with his mouth. <laughs> and play the guitar. And play the guitar. And sing. And sing. And produce. He's just one of those people that's direct. annoyingly talented, isn't yeah. he? It's, mm. He's just one of those people that can turn up to a party and stuff and just sort of be like, Oh, let me play the piano. And just sort of... That's not what Hugh Laurie sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let me play the piano. Is that better? Yeah. Who else apart from Hugh Laurie? Um, and David Tennant. Ooh, Hugh Laurie, David Tennant. I don't know, Rowan Atkinson. <gasps> what a legend. What a legend. I love him so much. Like, he has a degree in, is it like electrical engineering or a something? Masters. It was a, a masters. Master. And so he's, he's really Green. clever and he just plays a complete idiot. Like goals, it's it's not even that. It's the fact that there's it's like I reckon anywhere you go in the world, everybody knows Mr. Bean. Yeah, because anybody can watch it because there's no words. Yeah, but also you can be sitting in a room with your mum and your dad, your granny and your granddad, yourself, your younger cousins, and everyone will be laughing. Everyone yeah. will be crying watching Mr. Bean because it's so funny. Watching Mr. Bean makes a sandwich. With his credit, out his fish and his credit, credit card. card. My yeah. flexible friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you know what one's good? The New Year party whenever he's trying to paint his room. And your man forgets his hat. Yeah. It's the main one I remember. 
<laughs> that's such a great way to be in the room, though. It is. Like, it got it done real quick. Like, although the amount of paper. <laughs> well, I mean, save up all year. Save up all your newspapers for it's a year. Yes, yeah. give it a wee paint job. Like, how did how did the writers think of it? Like, Ron Atkinson was like part of it too. Yeah. Did he, yeah. That's unreal. I'd I'd love to do that. I love playing. I'd love to meet him and just chat chat to him about it. Like even as like Blackadder and Johnny English and stuff as yeah. well. Like it's it's just it's so so good. Yeah. But at the same time, like you almost want to talk to like Rowan Atkinson. Like you don't want to talk to Mister Bain or Johnny English. Like if that makes sense. Like I feel like a lot of people would, like want to talk to actors and stuff, but expect them to be. Yeah, like the person like they the person. were in that film. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'd just sort of like to be like, no, nah, like, switch everything off here. That's what I wonder about, like, TV presenters and radio presenters and stuff. Like, is that them? Like, is that them? Is that who they are whenever they're at home? Or do they turn on, like, a ra- like almost a radio voice? Yeah. I'd... I don't think we do, because, I mean, we talk about farts and stuff. Like, yeah. But then again, I just imagine it, like, the microphone or the phone or whatever it is we're recording it off. It's not there. Yeah. This is just legit me and you talking. Like occasionally I'll sort of remember and slap you for like tapping things or like yeah. shifting around too much but like apart from that. Well okay there's some things like we have to try and remember like not to mention names, not to swear. Well we don't swear that much anyway. Yeah. You, you on, well we only really swear if it really really hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but even then like it's I think that Swearing is sort of like very, I suppose, situational. I was like, obviously, say that. don't do it all the time, but like, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the sw- best way to describe things is using a swear word. Yeah, or like how you're feeling. Yeah, yeah. Is does that is is that still bad? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends who's present as well, though. Yeah. You wouldn't do it if there was like a minister around. I don't know. Maybe some ministers would be alright with it. Just like, eh, well, you didn't use the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, your interview for a TV thing. Yeah, it was like, who's your biggest um, inspiration to get into? Because it was sort of an interview for like behind the scenes training. So like directing they, and yeah, stuff. like they specifically didn't want actors, and I was sort of like, yeah, I used to be interested in acting. Me in my head, just like my fingers are crossed. I love acting. I still want to do it. Um, but yeah, it was sort of behind the scenes stuff, and I was like, you, Laurie, just because I felt I'd sat there for long enough, and I was like, yeah, you, Laurie, why not? And they were like, why? And I was like, just because you, Laurie's so great. And I just went in a five minute ramble about you, Laurie, like everything I knew about him. That's. I'm quite impressed at that. I I still think that's very cool. Then I felt silly at the end because I was like, I literally could have picked like Steven Spielberg or someone like that, and I went with Hugh Laurie. But would you have been able to talk about Steven Spielberg for as much as you could talk about Hugh Laurie? Well, I could have talked about all the films he's done. I could have talked about Stephen Moffat or something like that. Like I'd probably have picked Stephen Moffat to be honest. But I mean, Hugh Laurie is still like a valid answer. Yeah. Because he's so flippin' talented. That was my tummy making wheel noises. I would I would quite like to be a director, but just because I'm quite bossy. I think I'd like but to I suppose do it's good. Like. You have to sort of know what you want to do as a director, though. Yeah, so I wouldn't be very good at that because I'm really indecisive. <laughs> do it this way and this way, and we'll just have our editor fix it and decide which <laughs> one's best. Okay, guys? Or that's the most brilliant idea ever. <laughs> In this scene, we're gonna have two alternate. Imagine doing that. Have two alternate ends to like different scenes, and then just be like, "We're leaving it up to you, Mister Editor. You can decide how this story ends." Ugh, that's yeah. I like that. I like that idea. That's what I would do as a director. <laughs> I suppose it's up to the scriptwriter and stuff too. It's not fully up to you. How do directors do that? Do they have to work really closely with the scriptwriter and be like, "Is this is this what you meant?" When you wrote this well, bit. like you have, yeah, but also sort of like I suppose the scriptwriter's just a scriptwriter, so it's just open to interpretation unless they specifically say like 
this scene is a sad scene. <laughs> yeah. See, I think I, if I was a director, I would constantly be running to whoever wrote the script and be like, is this what you meant? Is this okay? Are you sure, though? Because I wasn't sure if it was like this or like this or maybe this way. I would be the worst director ever. I should not be a director. I'm glad we sorted that out. <laughs> <laughs> the Skip Twins podcast, here to sort out Judith's career dilemmas <laughs> every week. Um... You know who else I was thinking about whenever we were talking about podcasts ages ago? Who? Who? Um, who? <laughs> Shane Todd. And I think if you like listening to podcasts with a Northern Irish accent, you should listen to Shane Todd and Dave Elliott. They have their own individual podcasts and they also do Boy Town. But also hanging with the Hegarty's. And hanging with Hegarty's too, with Sean Hegarty, the comedian, and Dagona Hegarty, the actress. She's also a comedian too, kind of, but she doesn't do stand up. She's just funny. Yeah. In acting. But they're, they're solid, solid people. Good, yeah, good all guys. Them. There's a bit of swearing in them, but I mean, generally it's okay. Shane and Dave always drink during their podcasts. Like, not alcohol, but like they're sipping tea and yeah. stuff. Through it, so you hear that. Yeah. Um, or it's not even the gulp. You can just. You just know they're drinking, you yeah, just hear you them can, drinking. You can it. hear it running down their throat. Which is like you hear the sort of Why don't you why don't you just go get a bottle of water and just do <laughs> 'cause I'm lying <laughs> down and I'm comfy. Fair enough. Um but yeah, I know they're good podcasts because we were talking about why people listen to th- people with Northern Irish accents. They have Northern Irish accents and their podcasts are solid. Yeah. They're good. Would recommend. Like they're silly, but also like there's times and it's sort of like, damn, that hits home. Yeah, like, yeah, preach it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what other podcasts do we listen to? Radio Two Confessions is one we've got really into lately. Oh, it's so funny. It is absolutely brilliant. Just if you, if you had to, do you have any confessions that are like sort of? I funny? always I always think about this whenever I'm listening to it. I'm always like, do I have any confessions that I could write in and share? And honestly, I don't think I do. Do yeah. you? Do you? Can you think of it? No. Unless there's any that like I've done like while babysitting or anything like that, but I I honestly don't think I have. No, but it's, it's just, I'm it's sure a I'll hear. Podcast. I'm sure I'll hear one someday and be like, Oh, <gasps> I remember to whenever me. this happened. I remember putting laxatives in their drinks. <laughs> I never did that. Um, and then we listened to Greg James and Scott Mills and Graham Norton and Mel Gedroyk and Dear Hank and John and Delete This and Josh Peck and Russell Brand. Russell Brand and the RNIB podcast. Crack On podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the youth woman was very good at that, actually, I have yeah. to say. Um, those young. Young there was people. young people. And young people were very good on it, so they were. Those be young nippers. <laughs> Whipper snappers. <laughs> <laughs> sounds so weird, you have to say it in like an American accent. Those whipper snappers. I think it sounds alright in Northern Irish. Whipper snappers. Yeah, whipper snappers. Well, their accent, it doesn't sound right in an English accent, does whipper it? Snappers. Those whipper snappers. Those their whipper snappers. <laughs> Them whippersnappers. That was my attempt at Scottish. Sorry. Oh look, he's the whippersnappers. <laughs> Sounds like they're talking about fish. <laughs> so that's maybe, is that maybe where it came from? Maybe, like yeah. Fish. What kind of fish would it be? What kind of fish would a whippersnapper be? All I know is that in Animal Crossing there's a wee fish called a red snapper. So maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's a name for... Hold on, I'm going to Google it. Hey, Judith will, will Google this and... I don't know, maybe we'll find something incredible out here. This this could be a big moment. A big moment of the podcast, yeah. finding out something. Chat away there, but it's, whatever. It's, no, I mean, like, there's a whole pile of phrases like that, though. Like, that you know it should have an origin probably somewhere in, like, the 1800s or whatever, but you just don't know where. And you don't know... Like, you know the way you can't put your finger on where it's from? Like, I'm trying to think of one. Um... Um, oh, night, night, like sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And apparently it is from like a time where 
beds were just made of like mattresses but the mattress bit was just ropes tied from one end of the room to the other and you laid your hay mattress on top so it was sleep tight so you had to make sure the rope was tight to make sure you didn't fall out and then don't let the bed bed bugs bite because it was a straw mattress there would have been bugs in it right what is the meaning of the phrase whippersnapper a diminutive a diminutive or insignificant person um especially a sprightly and impatient youngster what's the origin of the phrase whippersnapper is now a rather archaic term and although you might hear it in black and white british films those who are young and streetwise enough to actually be whippersnappers aren't likely to use it whippersnappers were known by various names all of them derived from the habit of young layabouts and hanging around snapping whips to pass the time oh so it's just people who Originally, these uh, were known... So why is it cut off half of this stuff? I'm only getting half of sentences. <laughs> it's from the 17th century. Um, Whenever people were bored or like people didn't have work, so they just like snapped whips. Yeah. So it's basically just a word for unemployed people. <laughs> we are whippersnappers, Judith. <laughs> so it was originally referring to a young man with no apparent get-up-and-go, um, and then is now meant to be a youngster um so there you go you learn something new every day thanks google uh that's what whippersnapper means um there's also i there's he, a late 17th century phrase perhaps meaning um expressing noise i don't know whatever um but yeah there's some oh no i can't find it now there was a thing and it was um, synonyms of it and it was like young whippersnapper. <laughs> there were some really funny ones. Hold on, I'll see if I can find it again. This is good. We should do this more often. What, just think of phrases? Yeah. Brat. <laughs> Pipsqueak. Squirt. Stripling. Snip. Puppy. What? <laughs> Malapert. <laughs> and... and an antonym is that like the opposite yeah antonym is old hand yeah so that would be opposite and now that i've turned on 4g i have so many notifications <laughs> so that's good that's nice but anyway do you have anything else to say or we wrap it up um i think we could probably wrap it up yeah. where does that come from wrap it up wrapping a present probably yeah uh, present i said that's so weird or suppose like at the end of like a meal or whatever you would like wrap, wrap up, up the, the leftovers oh uh, yeah so that would be like finishing yeah ah oh, i could google it but i'm not going to i'm gonna yeah. go with that because we'll I think leave that's... that for next time if we remember or you can google it and let us know what yeah, it means that too but um yeah if you want to follow us on other social medias uh we are skit underscore twins <gasps> You said it. I know. You said on, it right. On both Twitter and Instagram. That's S K I T under slash. <laughs> so S K I T under slash T W I N S. Skit Twins. And that's on Twitter and Instagram. On Facebook, we are just Skit Twins. If you search that, you'll find us. YouTube, Skit Twins. You'll find us on that. Yeah. And SoundCloud and iTunes slash wherever you got this podcast. Um, please subscribe or follow, give it a like, um, rate and review. Leave please. us a comment because it'll be up on YouTube as well. Um, we might actually start up a second channel just for podcasts just because... Thanks for that idea, Lewis. We don't want to clutter up like our channel with podcasts, especially if we decide to do more than one every two weeks. Yeah, maybe one a week. Yeah. Because we're whippersnappers just snapping our whips nothing better to do but yeah um but we'll keep you posted on that but un until next time take care be good make good choices such as sharing this and our videos and everything please thank you thank you very much thank you please take care be good uh make good choices good luck bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.